Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76 and we're going to start the Uncle Sam quest which is search the Charleston Herald for info on Sam Blackwell and we're over here at a base just next to the monorail elevator and we've got a fast travel all the way over here okay let's get going Priority Hello. All right, we've done this already. Um, let's get rid of it. There it is. And again. So this is the paper, isn't it? This is where we did one of our first quests to uh, join the responders or the fire breathers. Is it up there? Give me a scorched. Oh, piss off. Well, level one. Oh my lord, it's not even a fight, is it? Come on. I'm over here. The big yellow thing. Oh crap, come on. Any more. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to go to my weapons. So I picked up... Oh, come on. Bloody ghouls. <laughs> With your bloody silver table knives. Uh, where are we? I've got a shish kebab. My favourite of that. Uh, that. That's my bone club. I got that as a joke. But that is, has actually got more killing power than my, um, than my black diamond ski sword. So I've had to leave the Black Diamond Ski Sword at home. That's really powerful, that Bone Club. It's even more powerful than this, but... I want to give this a go. Looks quite cool, doesn't it? What was that? Paintbrush, technical data, I'll take that. What am I trying to do? Where am I going? Down there? Am I up, do you think? Yeah, I'm up. What's that? Let's, um... Play this while we're looking around. I'm William Breyer, investigative reporter for the Charleston Herald. I'm currently standing just outside the security fencing of one of several horn ride industrial sites that have cropped up around the area in recent months. I'm here tonight to try and get some answers about what has become known in certain circles as the Mother Load Project. Could this be the answer local mining families have been looking for? A series of new mining projects that could reinvigorate the local economy. Or, as the environmental groups have suggested, could these be a fresh set of toxic disposal sites, poisoning the ground beneath our feet? At the very least, according to local experts, the area's recent increase in seismic events can almost certainly be tied to these sites. And now I'm here to see for myself what's really going on. I've just made my way up to a small gap in the first line of fencing. The security here is intense. Barbed wire, armed guards, it's like a war zone. I'm making my way over a small ridge and height. Mother of God! Ground shaking and... Oh my God. What is that? Hey, you! This is private property! That reporter. Jesus. He's got a gun! Gun? Wait, this isn't a. Ah! Oh, blimey, that was very exciting. And there's more tapes here. Quite a lot of them. I won't listen to them now. Or should I? Right, well, I thought I had to listen to those tapes to progress the quest. But in fact, I just have to pick up this thing. Let's read that. Interview notes, overall impression, I don't think Blackwell's crazy but something was off. Very little to gain from leaving his position. Honestly believes there's an evil force at work here. Is he losing it and just hiding it better than the rest of us? Next step, track down who these sinister forces are that sent the sinister running for the hills. General notes, offer for interview arrived in handmade envelope. Favour with CPD, got me a print match. They're the senators, holy shit. 
Meet site Berkeley Springs Tanks train station. Met at dawn by a masked young woman, clearly Judith, clearly Judith Blackwell. Probably forgot we'd met at the governor's ball. And a masked older man, clearly the senator. Roughly half hour hike, pretty much due east. Could see the sunrise through the bag. Nice thought though, guys. Hike past through a stream. Bugger, go away. Oh, wretched thing. Uh, where was I? Go! Oh, pack of bloody mole, look at them all! Jesus! Okay. This is a little bit silly, isn't it? More. <laughs> look at it, it's like a butcher's yard. I know why they've all these mole rats have appeared though. It's because they were part of that quest. The one about the church. And you have to clear out a load of uh, mole rats as part of that quest. And I think they followed me all here when I didn't go after them. So anyway, let's continue reading this. Right, roughly half roughly half hour hike, pretty much due east. I oh, know. Hike passed through a stream over a highway, small bit of marsh into a cave, then down an elevator. Rest can be taken from the tapes. Blackwell was in serious political mode, message on firm and trying his damnedest to make sure I was scared about the things he claimed go bump in the night. So now we've got to find the bunker. And what well, meat's vanished. Oh, I can get a little bit of it. And you we sell this. Oh, look at this lovely rotting flesh. Mmm. Pretty fall out, isn't it? Right, where's this bloody bunker then? It's a quest. Oh look! Right over there. Okay, what's the nearest place we've been? Oh, I don't want to go there, that's all swampy and unpleasant. Uh, Harper's Ferry is quite tough, but we know the enemies there, they're just suit mutants. There's fast travel. Oh, 30 caps though, Jesus. Here we go. Alright, full of super mutants this place, but we don't care. Alright, let's uh look at the map again. Oh not that, come on. Oh, all over the place. Alright, so let's go along the river till we get to the road and cross over. So let's just mark that. Right, I'm keeping quiet to so listen. Sort of place a uh, death claw might jump here. How far away are we? Well, we're right on top of it, more or less. It's the entrance around here, do you think? Hmm, can't tell. Radioactivity. Abandoned waste dump. Hmm. The game takes me to all the nicest places. There we go. Before I do anything else, though, let's get some water down me. Right, fed and watered. What was that? Oh, God, look at it. Dead bear. Never a good sign, is it? Why not kill the bear? What's this? Brahmin corpse? Yuck. Alright, into the bunker. Oh, what's going on down here? Right, anything to pinch? What's in there? Caps, yep. Ooh. Don't want that, I'll take... Yeah, I'll take all that. Come on, what's that? It's impact medics. Let's keep going. Right, not much radiation here. Surprised. However, this looks like it's going to be ghoul territory, isn't it? What the hell is that? 
something over there. What is that? I saw something. I absolutely saw something. Um, combat shotgun, I think. Oh, crap. Oh, I saw something down there. Something big and horrible. Oh, oh. Right, yeah, through here. Through here. I don't think you can get up here. I don't think you can get up through here. Oh, my lord. Where is he? There he is, around the corner. Um, what I can do, perhaps, stick a pulse mine down. There you go. There you are. Look. Ah. Oh. Um, shall I just pop him with something? No, I don't want to do that. Let's get his tail. Try and encourage him round. Come on, yeah, come on. Oh, you sod. Damn it. Right, at least we can pulse mine him from here, I think. Pulse grenade him, rather. Ah, oh, he's too high up. Alright, let's give it a go. I just want to encourage him back here. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, you, oh he's a little bastard. Oh, up the bum, come on. Come on. Oh, he's not having it, is he? All right, yeah, that's one way of doing it. Super Sledge. Oh, he's dead. Oh, well done, me. What a brilliant idea I had. Uh, yeah, worked out fairly well. Put this away. It's too noisy. All right, back on. He came up here, didn't he? I wonder how many more of the bastards there are. What's all this? Oh, a death claw nest. Yuck. Is that another nest? I don't think so. What's down here? Agent. Operation Summary Blackwell. Shotgun shell. Uh, okay, well, let's take that. Commencing op summary, Agent Gray reporting. Blackwell won't be causing any more problems. The bypass holotape got me into the bunker as expected. Though a longer range is recommended for future models. Essentially, I have to play the thing standing on top of the access panel to get it to work. Without the lures to distract those freaks. Instead of the senator. Once inside, I was briefly halted by Blackwell's laser grid. But resetting the power allowed me to grant myself clearance. Recovery of the access card to our system was less successful. I found a keypad, but was to decipher the code. Recommend sending a specialist to collect it. How can I miss such a bloody huge thing? To the next target, after which okay, come on. No more. Missed all of that. Uh, right, search the cabin for the bypass holotape. Oh, let's put this down. Still, these death claws aren't so tough. Um, right, I've got to search this whole area, I think, don't I? Is there anything on the map? Yeah, <laughs> just basically search the whole place. The nest. Yeah, don't need that. Oh, death claw egg. Have that. What 
if it's up here. This is the bunker entrance, isn't it? Oh, hang on. Invalid right, okay. Access denied. Fair enough. It's not in there, is it? No, that'll be too easy. These barrels aren't radioactive at all, really. I thought this whole place would be popping. Alright, I might cut around this. Hello, hello, hello. Look at this. Right, there's the bypass holiday. So where was that? Just in case you want to follow my footsteps. So there's the um, the what's it, whatever that is. You just turn left here. Up here. And then, yeah, that didn't take very long to find at all. Take that, won't bother the rest of the crap. There we go. Invalid credentials. Access denied. Play the bypass holotape in front of the access panel. Okay, let's try that. So it's like a voice thing, is it? User access updated. Welcome. Okay, good. Let's open these. Another bunker. What are we going to get down here? Let's get our um, shish kebab up, shall we? Nothing pinchable there. Oh, I'm hidden. Explore the bunker is the quest now. So I reckon we're going to get ghouls down here, or rad roaches. Pretty much guaranteed a few rad roaches in places like this, aren't you? Oh, take all that. Judy's terminal. Right, yes, look at this. What am I doing? So here I am, stuck underground with my father, not the final year of med school plan I had in mind. But when he came to me, he was so adamant that we had to run, that someone was coming for us. Not adamant enough to show me any concrete proof. Just that I had to trust him, just that I had to trust him this time. Which has been getting harder as he gets worse. I could tell in his eyes that he's made his decision, and he's not in any state to be out here on his own. So here I am, me, my father, Senator on the Lamb, and a pile of books to last us through to Judgment Day. Maybe I'll get lucky and he'll come around to us heading back outside in a couple of days. Judgment Day. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Must have been where the bombs fell. Life changes. The plant growth outside has been getting out of control since. Since I can't do this now. Life changes, second try. Okay, again from the top, the plant growth outside has been getting out of control. The main entrance is almost overrun. At this rate, we're going to have to start burning the roots in order to get out of the elevators. And the animals aren't faring any better. I saw a mosquito the other day the size of a dog. I don't think I've screamed like that since high school. But at least it's given me a new goal in life. I want never ever to see one of those things feed. Ever. <laughs> well, I agree with you. Jeez. Mentats are key. I've been trying a couple of different meds for Dad to see what helps him helps keep him lucid. Most effective things are most effective things so far, believe it or not, Mentats. I always thought they were a party drug for beatniks and armchair philosophers, but they sh sharpened him right up, which we've been needing of late. He came back the other day covered in mud, claiming he saw a giant bat. That's a new one. <laughs> I worked out a recipe that seems to get pretty close to the store-bought ones. More scary looking fungi in there than I like, but at this point it's better than the alternative. Holy Mother of God. I saw a giant bat. Holy Mother of God, I saw a giant bat and it saw me. 
and followed me back here. Dad was right, we're going to need to be a lot more careful out there from now on. Ooh, it's a nice duck, isn't it? Yeah, have that. Go on. Got to start thinking about my weight, though, I think. I've been picking up quite a few bits and pieces. Da, 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 da. Nothing here. Anything around the corner. Oh, there we go. Security system manual reset. Security system manual reset. Throw circuit breaker. Throw circuit breaker. Laundry room. Open air flue above generator. Activate circuit conduits upstairs in vents. All credit goes to Judy and her elusive dream of running multiple hot plates at once. Okay, we've got some optional quests now. Throw the bunker's breaker. I think we'll do that, eh? Let's find these things. So we've got to find a, what, a laundry cupboard or something. Laundry room. loot on the way, can't we? Something going on down here. Oh, look, this is nice. Jeez. Wow, what a plush bunker. What a lovely fan. Clipboards. Is there something here? Oh, I've got to go upstairs for something now. Let's go through here first. Were we here before? No. Right, this is the laundry room. Take it, break her. Good, we've done that. Open up the air flue. Around here. Here. Yeah. Turn that. Reset the bunker circuit conduit. That was upstairs, I think. All right, yeah, the quest mark is leading us up there. And we might not come back in here again, so let's have a quick look around. Oh, what a load of rubbish. I'll take the Abraxo. Where are we now? Is it up here? No, it can't be. Through there. Well, it's definitely saying up though, isn't it? Is there a way up here? We want to get up there, I think. Ah, oh, how did I do that last time? Oh no, what's this? Hmm. Right, let's go upstairs again. If we can. This is new, isn't it? I haven't been around here. Is me saying I wasn't going to pick up anything more. Lying again, obviously. We can break it out of scrap down here, can't we? Good. How do we get upstairs? Is there a side door? Ah, oh, it's the stairs going all the way up. We don't want that. Here we go. It must be around the corner. Right, do I crouch? Looks like it. Here we go. Super duper. Error. Transcript credentials. 
Alright. Please approach the nearest active scanner. Let's do that. We'll probably have to come out of our suit, won't we? Oh, the next scanner's around the corner, I'm sure. Oh, it's down there now. <laughs> oh, how do we get downstairs? Oh, bloody hell. Bit of a maze, isn't it? What if something attacks us when we get out of our armour? Right through here. Can I do it in, in this? Credentials completed. Access granted. Pretty nice. It's all blue now. We can run through there. No enemies at all yet. Very surprise. Well, I mean, you can. I'll have that. <laughs> That's that. Back off. Back off, Sam. Back off, Sam. This is from the Department of Defense. The decisions being made. The automated silos are being built in Appalachia. We're going to get the same early warning as everyone else. But if you breathe a word about these timing discrepancies you keep implying exist between the military and civilian warning systems. I'll make sure you spend the rest of your days in jail. I'm going to start a panic, Sam. We're not discussing this again. And that's from Ranset, Appalachian Territory. Good. Oh, intelligence memo. Let's read that. Top secret, Intel Committee only. Senator, you're pulling on the purse strings of this congressional bunker project. Was exactly the break we needed. The Modus Machine, Voltec member of our government. They're all part of it. I've gotten a lot of chatter about the Department of Ag Agriculture having an outsized role in what's going on. Secretary Eckhart is at the heart of this, I guarantee it. But I wouldn't be shocked for a moment if this all went if this went all the way to the top. Remember this number, 417604. It's an invoice number for an order placed by the Department of Agriculture at Eckhart's request. Bound for the bunker, they claim it's part of the facility's automation effort. That's a lie. Invoice 417604 is experimental equipment, high tech, lots of it. The automation thing's just a cover up. Some of this stuff, this is military grade equipment, sand, biological warfare, human experimentation. They're gearing up to go to war or more likely end one. I'm going to keep digging on my end, see where the thread goes, but you might want to make but you might want to make yourself scarce, Sam. No telling how these people will react if they find out we know what they're up to. Take that. Excellent. Right, search the room for Blackwell's access code and the possible code, mysterious invoice number, blah blah blah, which is there. Welcome, new Senator. Congressional ID 778232. Welcome, Mr. Blackwell, to the Senate of the United States of America. Your election to this body is one of the greatest honors an American receive. Please memorize the ID above. It will grant you access to some of the many perks members of the Senate enjoy. Checking out items from the Library of Congress, access to the Congressional Gym, discount meals at the Capitol Cafeteria and more. And please be sure to bring the ID as well as government issued photo ID to your first orientation se session at the Capitol this January. Specific date forthcoming. Here's wishing you a long and honorable tenure in your position as Senator of the Appalachia Territory. Good. So I've all right, I've got to search the room for code. I've got two other possible possible codes. I've got those codes. Okay. What's that? Keep. All oh, right. Okay. We've got to enter a code. Um. All right. So this is keeping them on the screen, so I don't have to keep delving back into the files, which is nice. Committee meeting notes. Hearing before the Senate Committee on Nuclear Energy. Transcript continued, page 384, Senator Clark. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to remind the committee that environmental concerns are size, and I do share those concerns. The uranium deposits in question is in fact the largest in the country, not just the East Coast. Overturning the ban on extraction would help shorten the secure supply line for resources our great nation is relying on. 
more and more with each passing day. Senator Blackwell and I, Mr Chairman, would again like to bring to the committee's attention the fact that my colleague Senator Clark has recently purchased a very large stake in the Atomic Mining Services Corporation, which constitutes a clear conflict of influence. Senator Clark, I will show you a conflict of interest, sir. Committee Chair, will the gentlemen please return to their seats? Take that, so we can find all these little bits of paper then, do we? Department of Ag Projects. Classified, hey Sam, remember I'm doing you a favour here. Now you owe me and you've seen what heights my bar tab can reach. Honestly though, next time you should just talk to the secretary directly. He's a good guy and a smart cookie. I think you two would get along. That's from Judy Sorosset, Senate Committee on Agriculture. Department of Agriculture, Active Research Projects, Budding Patriots Initiative, and new National Nutritional Initiative to prepare the next generation for, na for nation service through enhanced nutrition. Congressional Bunker of Food Preservation Initiative, pilot project to extend the shelf life of various foods being prepared for the Central Congressional Bunker. National Water Enhancement Initiative, developing food additives that can be deployed in local water systems to enhance well-being across citizens of the United States. It's done in conjunction with the Department of Defense. American Crop Protection Initiative, a broad spectrum look at the use of biological aim, a broad spectrum look at the use of biological agents to eliminate crop pest. Pest Self Eradication Initiative, developing techniques to biologically modify weevils, moles and other pests to self eliminate. Very interesting. Was a safe there, take all that. Yeah, we, I think we saw one of those projects out at the Silver Homestead. And there was an automated um, an automated robot that was going around spraying things. It's quite interesting. Uh, is that everything? Well, let's try one of these codes. So, we've got... Um, 778232. Two, three, two. Error. Six digit code required. Okay. Four, one, seven, six, O, oh, four. Invalid code. Oh dear. They were quite easy to find though, weren't they? Let's search the room f for the, the code. You don't have to get anywhere else. There we go. Record of divorce. Judge Falkland Archibalds. Petitioner Blackwell family. Respondent. Sorry. Petitioner Blackwell Emily. Respondent Blackwell Samuel. Date of marriage. Divorce granted. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take that. Looks like it, doesn't it? Try this. Enter the keypad. So, one. Two, one, eight, five, five. Invalid oh. code. Oh, looks. <laughs> I thought third time lucky then. Oh, you bastard things! I'll take the. I'll take the plastic knife. I mean, it's good that it's not that easy. Frankly, it gets a bit boring otherwise. Cigar, it would be in a cigar, would it? Combination wrench. Like, oh, it's just a rotten old can there. Is there a code on the wall, perhaps? Am I just taking it to. I'm going to take a clipboard. I've been looking for bits of paper. Perhaps it's hidden elsewhere. Behind a mirror, perhaps. Bourbon. Lots of cans. Not behind the door, is it? No. Is it hidden in a picture? We've already looted that safe. Oh, a gun. Take that. 
Let's have a look down here. I actually missed you. I've just been walking around you. Sam's terminal. Let's look at that. Can't do that in power armor. Okay. Shut the door. Come on, I want to get out. Let's have a look at this then. First on logs, Judy. Judy says I should write. Judy says I should write. That recalling things and writing them down will help with my memory until she can find what she needs to brew up some more meds. So I'm writing. When she's not taking care of her dad, she's been glued to the radio upstairs, listening to folks crying for someone to save them. Wondering why no one's coming. It's almost like no one listens to the interview at all, like I told her they wouldn't. She's a good soul, which is why I imagine this has been so hard for her, because there's no place for people like that in the world anymore. Free state spunkers. Getting these down in case we need to get the gang back together. Near Argent Abbey, due north of Thunder Mountain Power, Emma east of Thunder Mountain Power, Raleigh southwest of Dye Chemical. Judy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Judy. Judy went out to collect mushrooms, part of a grand plan for a mushroom and dainty boy apple casserole, which my stomach had been quietly fearing the whole day, but she didn't come back. I cycled through our best foraging spots, only to find a deep in conversation with two men, two men we didn't know. Two men who could have recognised her. I waited for them to part ways. If they were agents said to find us, they clearly weren't good ones. When I got back, I tried to keep calm, to remind her why we have to stay hidden, remind her what telling the truth cost us. I got mad. That made her mad. Now she's upstairs and I need to get up the courage to say what's so damn easy to write. I'm sorry, Judy, but with everything that's being taken from us, I'm not about to lose you. Some kind of bat. I was out hunting today and I swear some kind of bat the size of a Corvica came flying over the ridge. It perched and looked right at me through brush trees and 500 yards. It spun right towards me like I'd whipped a stone at its head. Then it howled, howled like a banshee and started flying right at me. I haven't run that far since high school, dodging tree branches and brush. I could hear wings flapping just behind my head. Oh, I know the feeling, sir. I know the feeling. And then darkness. It took me a good 15 seconds before I realised I'd fallen into a ditch. The bat screeched and I could hear it clawing at the ground above me for what sounded like an eternity before finally giving up and flying off. When I finally got back and told Judy, she looked me up and down covered in sweat, dirt and bruises and told me that in that perfect doctor's calm that there's a chance of what I saw. It might have been a side effect of me being off my meds. Then she turned, walked into the storeroom and handed me the biggest gun we had. Just take this too. Judy's gone. Uh, Judith Blackwell, rest in peace. Buried up at the crest. Oh, the disease, it moved too fast, so fast. One minute she was fine and the next gone. I recognised it, this disease, at least I think I did. An old memo perhaps. Was this what we were chasing? Had T warned me about this? I wanted to take her to the congressional bunker. They could have fixed her, I know it. They would have executed me for treason, but maybe they'd let her live. But the maps weren't in the spots I thought they were, and by the time I found them and built the stretcher, I just watched her die. Chat on the radio coming from Harper's Ferry gets grim every day. Others out there are dying of the same thing, and I can't do this on my own. About time I went for a walk. Judy loved going for walks. Don't forget this one, Sam. Been a while. Things are going well at Harper's. Everyone either doesn't know who I am or pretends they don't. Randy has me working in the armory, cleaning, cleaning weapons. Away from people. Good friend, that one. Came back to get a dose of a dictol for a junkie that wandered in from the mountains. Figured I'll relax here for a bit. Sleep's been harder to come by recently, having trouble remembering what Judy said I should take to help. She's a good soul, but there's no place for people like that in this world anymore. They found me. A few days ago, I was in line for a bowl of soup at Harper's. One of the newcomers wouldn't take his eyes off me. Didn't think I noticed him watching. Thought wrong. That night, I saw him walking outside the barrier. I followed. He was making some kind of recording. I couldn't risk it. Tried to make it look like an animal attack. Messy, imprecise. Threw some pieces in the river. Yesterday morning, uproar. People terrified about the attack. Made it too believable, I guess. 
Last night heard something fly over the town, mechanical. Never saw anything. Stealth, most likely. They're looking for him, for me. As soon as I couldn't hear the sounds anymore, took my pack and ran back here. Today hung some meat in the cave. Try and draw in some local predators, scare off anyone who might have followed me. Still have months of food in here, should be safe for now. Don't know what I was thinking leaving this place, won't be making that mistake again. Okay, well no codes there, all very interesting and shame about poor Judy, wasn't it? Uh, I won't bother getting back in the armour. Oh, hang on, date of Judy Blackwell's death. There we go. Didn't notice that. Right, this is going to be it, isn't it? Oh, two, one, five, eight, four. Code accepted. Uh, okay, what happened then? Right, um, I will put on the power armor actually. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm a coward or anything. Look at this stuff I got now. Oh, two power armor chassis. Which one? Must be this one. Is it? Oh, yes, it is. Thank goodness. Why do they give you a power armor chassis reward when they're literally everywhere? I mean, I could wander out and pick up 10 or 15, really. Reach behind the painting. Welcome to White Spring added. Congressional access card added. Listen to Hollis say, Welcome to White Spring. Hello, welcome to White Spring. Where are you? So much stuff here now. Greetings, esteemed Congressman or Senator. Welcome to the future of the United States government. Welcome to the White Spring. Designed with comfort and safety in mind, the White Spring Bunker, located directly below the lavish resort of the same name, will act as your very own oasis in the event of a hostile nuclear strike. All you need to do is present the enclosed access card upon your arrival, and our automated bunker management mainframe will do the rest guiding you through the process of getting to know your new home, all while supporting the continuation of the necessary functions of government. So when the inevitable comes, won't you join us at the White Spring? Right, well that's excellent. Very good indeed, because um, I've been through White Spring, I've never really taken a good look at it though. Oh, so that'd be great fun, brilliant. Yeah, White Spring is this uh, really plush golf course. Well, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know about it. You know, I had a fairly long-lived base at Solomon's Pond, which is in, on the hills above uh, White Springs. Anyway, we'll do that next time, because it's been quite a long episode of this. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you come back for some more. And until I see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay, cheerio.